Maria Agnesi was born in Milan, Italy on the 16th of May in 1718. Maria was one of 21 children and was often sick as a child, and so she dedicated herself to studying and reading and was regarded as a child prodigy. Maria could speak Italian and French by the age of five and was able to speak Greek, Hebrew, Spanish, German, and Latin by the age of 11. Maria was a mathematician, philosopher, and humanitarian and utilized her father's academic connections to learn as much as she possibly could. Maria became the first woman to publish a math textbook and the first woman appointed as a math professor at a university. Maria initially had wanted to become a nun, but her father would not allow her to become one since it would not utilize her academic potential. Maria began to study differential and integral calculus and her reputation for being a math prodigy grew. Maria was offered a position as a professor at the University of Bologna, a university that had many female professors in the 1700s. While Maria did not formally accept the position so that she could care for her large family, she is still seen as the first woman appointed to the, the position of math professor. At the time, women were still not seen as being academically capable as men, so it was rare for them to be offered teaching positions in math. Female professors at the University of Bologna had to justify their teaching positions and their experiments to administrators much more than their male counterparts did. In 1748, Maria wrote the math textbook, Analytical Institutions, which became a highly regarded book that focused on differential and integral calculus. Maria's book was full of illustrations and math concepts to help make the book easier to understand. It became known as one of the best introductions to calculus at the time. The French Academy of Sciences translated and used the textbook, but would not accept Maria as a member of the academy since she was a woman. The University of Cambridge also translated Maria's book into English and used it as a part of their curriculum as well. Maria's book has gained fame and even recognition from the Pope at the time who praised her work. Mathematics professor John Colson of the University of Cambridge in England was so impressed by Maria's textbooks that he learned Italian to translate her works. While translating the book, Professor Colson mistook the word viseria, which is a term for a sine curve with the word visicra, which means which. Due to this translation error, the English textbook has a sine curve mislabeled as the witch of Agnesi instead of the curve of Agnesi. This mistake ended up having Maria's name become associated with the term witch in English-speaking math circles. Maria is considered one of the most accomplished female mathematicians of the 1700s, with her witch of Agnesi term being used to this day. Although Maria was dedicated to math, later in her life she dedicated herself to doing charity work and serving the poor. She also opened a home for the elderly to care for them in their later years. She is remembered to this day by the many things named after her. In 1996, an asteroid was named after her, as well as a crater on Venus. And in Italy, there are numerous streets as well as a school named after her.